Good morning, or good afternoon, depending on what time it is. Could even be a good night for you, but... Um, yeah, you know, I still don't know what the hell that snake-looking thing is. It annoys me. I've been thinking about getting a digital camera, but I don't want to spend the money. Since I'm, since I'm not working currently, I'm really cautious on what I what I spend money for try to keep it just for necessities but it's tempting to to do something I don't like the picture quality of my webcam so it's it's tempting you know I've noticed some people really take YouTube videos to a whole nother level they have white backgrounds they have special lighting they use they get you know really nice digital cameras and they, they get really serious about it I don't see myself getting to that level. Um, for one thing, it's too much money, and I don't take YouTube that seriously. Um, I probably would if I made money off it, which some of these people do, uh, but I don't want to get too far into that subject. I actually started this video with the intent of discussing something that I was asked over the holidays. Uh, one of my relatives asked me really interesting questions. She asked, why do you have a Rottweiler? Which I've never been asked before. Um, and it, I thought it was interesting, so I thought I'd talk about it. Since my dog is a huge part of my life, I love my dog more than anything. Um, but yeah, before I actually got my dog, I'd read several books on the topic just because I knew a Rottweiler wasn't a typical typical breed of dog. They're very unique. Um, they're very dominant. Very dominant. Most dominant dog I've ever seen by far. Uh, they will try and dominate you as a matter of fact. They want to assert themselves as the leader of the pack. So you have to raise them differently than you would a normal dog. Uh, but I, the more I read about them, the more I wanted one and uh, I found one for a reasonable price. You know, I, my dog cost me $500. I, I was finding a range between $500 and $2,500 for dogs, and I thought $500 was a good price, so I went ahead and got him. And uh, I like a lot of things about Rottweilers. I like their personality. Uh, they're very loyal, very devoted. Um, I like the coloring. I've always liked black and tan dogs. Uh, my mom had black and tan dogs growing up as kids, uh, except for with her, she always had a wiener dog. She loved wiener dogs, which I do too, but they're prone to back problems, so I didn't really want to get one just due to that, although all dogs are prone to some type of health issue with Rottweilers, it's hip dysplasia or cancer later in life. They're really prone to cancer. Um, and for those of you who follow me on Facebook, you know that my dog had cancer here recently and had to have surgery to have the tumor removed. So uh, every day I have him, I'm thankful for. And uh, he's been healthy other than that. He's never had any problems with his hips. He was actually certified for that when I bought him. I got him from some people who had never bred before, and they actually did a pretty good job. Uh, but yeah, I, I like the way Rottweilers look. I like the fact that they're a muscular dog. Uh, I don't think I've ever seen a more muscular dog than a Rottie. Um, they, their strength is unlike anything I've ever encountered in a dog. It's all I can do to control him. Uh, I remember one time he actually drug me in my front yard. He, there's a hill, and he had he saw something. And I, I always have him on a leash, always when we go outside. And yeah, he saw something. And the next thing I knew, I was tumbling down this hill, literally head over feet, uh, and I got knocked out unconscious, um, landed on a rock, literally got knocked out. First time I've ever been knocked out in my life and my ears are ringing and my blood was just gushing everywhere I was so pissed at him <laughs> but uh, I think he probably saw a deer and just lunged for it that's just his instinct and will act that quickly but yeah I had to get 13 stitches and look like I'd been in a car accident actually 
Um, I got hurt pretty good, but I forgave him. But yeah, uh, they're, oh, I can't believe how strong he is. Um, they're, they're hard to control. Hard to control for sure. So, you know, raising them right is definitely important. And I made some mistakes for sure. Uh, my dog has not gotten the exposure to people that he needs. At least not in the house. If we go into public, he's great. He loves people. He'll run up to people and want them all to pet him, and he's just a social butterfly. But here at the house, somebody comes over, he has a fit. He has a fit, and he's pissed. <laughs> and I can't have anybody in my house, really, as a result. I mean, I could shut him in a bedroom, and all he'll do is pot that door and destroy the door. So uh, I wind up not having anybody over. Uh, my dad came over. Uh, a while back and my dog just threw an absolute fit. He went psychotic and wanted to kill him. Uh, so right then and there I decided well I'm not even going to try to have people over anymore. Which doesn't bother me tremendously because I can always go out and see people and I don't have to worry about them getting bit which puts my dog at risk and them at risk. Um, so you know you have to be a responsible pet owner. That's That's a huge huge part of having a Rottweiler is you have to protect them and protect the public. Um, but yeah, he's, I, I think he looks cool. I like the way their legs switch when they walk. I just, I like a ton of things about them. And I also, I hate to admit this, but I also like the fact that he's intimidating. Uh, he can be extremely intimidating if he wants to be, which with where I live is a good thing. You see, I, I live in a rural area where you can't see any of my neighbors. They can't see me. I can't see them. I can hear them, but I can't see them. And if somebody wanted to break into my house, nobody's going to see them do it. There won't be any witnesses. So I wanted something that would de deter that from ever happening. And Rottweiler is a great way to go because he will definitely scare off anybody who has any thoughts about breaking into my house. Um, I don't know if you know this or not, but Rottweilers generate some of the the strongest bites of any canine. Um, as a matter of fact, some reports I've read say that they are the strongest. Uh, there's some debate on that, though. I've read other reports that say the Doberman Pinscher is actually the strongest. Um, I expected the pit bull to be the strongest, but usually it clocks in at number three. Um, it's either the Doberman or the Rottweiler in position one. And then uh, the Pitbull in number three and the German Shepherd in number four. Which I like German Shepherds too. I've had German Shepherds before. And they're cool dogs too. But um, yeah, my, my Rottweiler is very intimidating when it comes to the house. And I think anybody who had a, even a lick of common sense once they saw him in the window is not going to break in. Um, they can generate enough pounds of force per square inch in their bite to snap your arm. So, you know, imagine that. Imagine how bad that's going to hurt. You know, it can turn your arm into a bag of bones, basically. And once they do, you're going to do whatever they want. You know, if they start pulling you to the ground, you're going to go to the ground. And once they get you on the ground, who knows what's going to happen. If they can, they, if they can break your arm, they can crush your windpipe. So if they go after your throat, you're, you're done. Uh, but if you, you could raise them in such a way that that probably wouldn't be the case. I've made some mistakes. Um, I, didn't, I just didn't have enough friends over, over time for him to become socialized. So he's, he's not socialized unless I take him out into public. If I take him out, then he's fine. But uh, when it comes to other animals, he's not fine. He wants to fight with other dogs. So I don't know what I would have done about that. When, when we got him, we had two other little dogs, which you know he was fine with. Of course, he was a pup when I got him. He was only eight weeks old. But, uh, 
Yeah, I'd, I'd say those are the reasons I have a Rottweiler. And I'll probably always have them now. I, I, I'm a huge fan of them now that I've had one. Um, yeah. That's, that's basically why. Um, feel free to leave your questions and comments in the comment section. And uh, I hope you have a super, super day. Talk to you later.